Take a little bit of salt. The very first part of this process is to take two sticks of butter, which equals one cup, and you're going to take them out of the fridge and you're going to let them sit for an hour in order to soften. Then you're going to take them and place this in this bowl. It's important to have softened butter and not melted butter. The next step is to take one cup of white sugar. Make sure you measure it all the way to the top of the measuring cup so it is flush. Next, you're going to take an equal amount of brown sugar, so one cup of brown sugar. And a lot of times, you can buy brown sugar that is harder versus softer. So if you end up buying that one, just make sure you have less clumps in it when you pour it out. Luckily, this brown sugar that I got at a Chinese supermarket here is really soft and measures almost like the white sugar previously. You want to make sure there's enough brown sugar so that it's very compact in the measuring cup. Here you'll be taking your electric mixer. I have a Toastmaster. I think it was about $10 at a dollar store, so it doesn't have to be anything fancy. At this point, it might seem impossible that the consistency is going to be creamy. Right now, it just seems like it's going to be crumbly. But trust me, if you put a lot of effort into it, it's going to be creamy. If you don't mix this dough enough, you're not going to get the right outcome. At this point, you're going to take two eggs and crack them into your dough. Then you're going to make sure to mix them in really well. For the next step, you're going to take one teaspoon of baking soda and mix it into two teaspoons of water. And then you're going to place it in the microwave for 15 seconds and incorporate that into the dough. Take a little bit of salt. Now you're just going to put in a pinch of salt. And make sure to whisk that really well so you don't get salt crystals in some cookies but not in others. Now you're going to take three cups of flour. And the way I measure this is not by packing in the flour very tightly. I just loosely get it up to the one cup mark. After each cup of flour that you put into your dough, you're going to mix it really well. But at this point, Try not to overmix now that you have the flour included. And finally, you're going to add your last cup of flour. At this point, you're going to add chocolate chunks. Now I prefer these chunks instead of chips just because I think they give a better consistency and like I always say, you can never put enough chocolate in your cookies. So I don't even measure this, I just dump in as many as I feel like dumping in. You're going to set the baking time to exactly 10 minutes. When you take these cookies out of the oven after 10 minutes, they're going to seem like they're not finished, but they still cook a little bit once you take them out, so don't worry about it. And this is the final product. In my opinion, they're the best cookies ever, so go ahead and give it a try, and I hope you like them. Uh, one suggestion, keep them in the fridge. I like them better when they're really cold. I don't know why. I, just, I like them a lot better when they're cold. Kind of strange, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> okay, well, have a good day, and enjoy the cookies if you get time to make them. Bye.